Things men should never say to women. 9 Things you need to stop saying to ladies in your life ASAP. In a world where equality is a growing standard, it's still surprising how often men make statements that belittle or hurt women, either intentionally or unintentionally. The words you use can leave a lasting impact, even if you don't realize it. For men, knowing what to avoid saying to women is critical, not just for fostering respectful relationships, but for creating a world where women feel safe, valued, and equal. If you've ever caught yourself saying something harmful or offensive, it's time to stop. Here are nine things you should never say to women, no matter the context. 1. Using gendered slurs. Slurs like bitch, slut, whore, and see asterisk and t, have no male equivalents that carry the same weight. While it's easy to draw comparisons like bitch to bastard, the truth is that gendered insults directed at women often degrade them in ways that men rarely experience. When you use these words, you're reinforcing harmful stereotypes and dehumanizing women. These terms reduce women to objects, stripping them of their complexity, value, and individuality. Even in heated moments, resorting to such slurs damages your relationship with women and perpetuates a culture of sexism. 2. Threatening her with violence. Whether it's said jokingly or in anger, threatening violence against a woman is never acceptable. Women already live in a world where male violence is a constant fear. Even if you've never physically harmed a woman, making threats or insinuating harm puts you on the wrong side of the line. You don't have to lay a hand on someone for them to feel afraid. The threat alone can trigger fear, especially for those who have experienced violence before. Instead of escalating conflict with threats, find ways to communicate respectfully and resolve issues without intimidation. 3. Implying she's not as smart as a man. For centuries, society has diminished women's intellectual abilities, often framing them as less capable than men in fields like science, math, and leadership. When you question a woman's intelligence or suggest that men are inherently smarter, you're perpetuating outdated stereotypes. Women have fought for equal recognition in academic, professional, and creative fields, and their contributions are as valuable as those of men. Implying that a woman is less intelligent because of her gender disregards the immense progress women have made and the countless barriers they've had to overcome. 4. Engaging in slut-shaming. A man who has multiple sexual partners is often celebrated as a stud or playboy, while a woman with the same sexual history is shamed. This double standard is deeply ingrained in society, and it's time to leave it behind. Slut-shaming women for their sexual choices is harmful, outdated, and rooted in misogyny. Every woman has the right to express her sexuality without being judged, just as men do. Instead of labeling women for their sexual choices, respect their autonomy and privacy. 5. Implying she owes her success to her gender. There's a damaging belief that women succeed because they use their femininity to get ahead. Whether it's about getting a promotion, gaining access to opportunities, or being admired, suggesting that a woman's success is based on her looks or gender rather than her skills is dismissive. Women face countless obstacles in male-dominated spaces, including sexism, discrimination, and bias. When a woman achieves success, it's because of her hard work, intelligence, and perseverance. Belittling her achievements by attributing them to her gender is both disrespectful and inaccurate. 6. Telling her she's ugly or fat. Women are constantly bombarded with unrealistic beauty standards, and commenting negatively on a woman's appearance only adds to that pressure. Remarks about a woman's weight, size, or looks can have lasting emotional effects, contributing to body image issues and self-esteem struggles. Beauty is subjective, and a woman's worth is far more than skin deep. Rather than focusing on appearance, compliment her on her intelligence, kindness, or talents, qualities that truly matter. 7. Shaming her about menstruation. 
Periods are a natural part of life for women, yet many men treat them as taboo or something to be ashamed of. Making jokes or negative comments about menstruation only perpetuates the stigma. From adolescence to menopause, women experience menstruation as a regular part of life. It's not something dirty or embarrassing. It's biology. Shaming a woman for her body's natural processes is both immature and ignorant. Instead, be understanding and supportive, knowing that periods are part of her experience. 8. Telling her she's crazy. Calling a woman crazy is often a way to dismiss her feelings, concerns, or reactions. This label has been weaponized against women for centuries, making them feel like their emotions or thoughts are irrational. If a woman is expressing frustration, anger, or sadness, it's essential to listen and empathize rather than belittle her with labels. Dismissing a woman as crazy is a way to avoid responsibility and shift the blame onto her, creating an unhealthy dynamic in any relationship. 9. Belittling her concerns about abuse. Many women have experienced various forms of abuse, whether physical, emotional, or sexual. When a woman opens up about her experiences, it's crucial to listen and take her seriously. Belittling her concerns or suggesting she's overreacting invalidates her trauma and perpetuates a culture where women are not believed. In recent years, society has become more aware of the prevalence of abuse against women, and it's important to be part of the solution, not the problem. Support women when they speak up and help create a world where they can feel safe and heard. Conclusion a call for respect. The words we choose matter, and they have the power to either build someone up or tear them down. For men, being mindful of what you say to women is about more than just avoiding offense. It's about fostering respect, equality, and understanding in your relationships. Whether it's a partner, friend, colleague, or stranger, your words can make a difference. By avoiding these harmful phrases and attitudes, you can help create a more supportive and respectful environment for the women in your life. After all, a world where women feel valued and heard is a better world for everyone. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.